So now we're going to uh, do some exercises which use the um, the uh, class uh, generic lists that we've just been looking at. So uh, number nine says write a recursive function make r which given an integer n returns the list n n minus one down to zero for all non-negative n. Make r n returns the list produced by make r n minus one and then adding n to the beginning of the list. So therefore this looks like a recursive call to uh, with n minus one and then consing n to the beginning of the list. So let's see how we do that in Java. Well the first thing we have to do is we have to create an instance of our generic lists class this time instantiating t with integer. So l will be a generic lists class with t instantiated for, in for, for integer. So now for example um, l dot head will take an array list of integers and return an integer. l list of tail um, um, generic um, L of dot tail will take an array list of integers and return an array list of integers. So we've got an instance of um, of um, generic lists with T uh, instantiated to integer. So because we're talking, this question talks about lists of integers, creates lists of integers here, array list. These are, it goes n down to zero. So let's have a look at the code here. So here's our make our function or method. It takes an integer and returns an array list of integers. Um, if n equals naught, return l dot cons zero l dot nil. So in other words, if n is if the parameter is zero of our n method, we're we're going to we're going to return the list whose head is zero and whose tail is empty. So that's like the list with just a singleton element in it. It's the list with just nil, zero in it. Otherwise, if n isn't zero, we return the list whose head is n and whose tail is make r n minus one. So this will stick the n at the beginning of the list and then recursively create the list n minus one down to zero and put the n at the beginning. We're using our lcons method, which is here. Don't forget lcons return the list whose first parameter whose head was the first parameter and whose tail was the second parameter. So we're creating a list whose head is n and whose tail is make our n minus 1. And here we are just testing out our method by calling it out with arg0. So to run it, what would we do? We'd say first we'd compile it. Oops, sorry, that should say Java C. And then to compile it, to run it, we say Java make R, and we give it a number. And that does the list 54321, and it gives it the different num number 66, and it gives the list 66 all the way down to zero. So here we had five recursive calls, here we had 66 recursive calls. So the next question says write a recursive function make L. This one does it the other way around. It goes from z again. We have an integer parameter, and it goes zero to n minus one. So we say we um, this time we we call we recursively call the n minus one, and stick the end on the stick the n on the other end. So we can use append for that. So let's have a look at the solution. So this time we, here's our makeL method. Again, if n is zero, it's the same. We just return the singleton list with just zero. Otherwise, uh, we recursively call it with n minus one. So here we create the list with just n in it, and we append the list that goes from zero to n minus one with a zero with a list with just n in it. So that'll give us the list zero to n minus one, and that's what we return. So if we want to try that one out. First we compile it. 